So in today's video, we're going to be going over Logan Paul's lawsuit, brand new lawsuit on CoffeeZilla. We have a lot more detail now on the lawsuit and the joke claims are being made by Logan Paul. Because when you rewind the tape a bit, Logan Paul once threatened to sue CoffeeZilla. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. He then apologized for threatening to sue CoffeeZilla. Hey all, just wanted to update you. I deleted my initial response to Coffee series. It was rash and misaligned with a true issue at hand. So I called him today and apologized. The war is not with coffee. In fact, I'm grateful he brought this to light. I will be taking accountability, apologizing and coming forward with a plan in the near future. Thank you all for believing in the project and blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. He then came out and thanked CoffeeZilla for exposing CryptoZoo. Lastly, thank you CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed this and I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. And now in July 2024, he is again suing CoffeeZilla for defamation. And it's an absolute farce. I covered this a few weeks ago that CoffeeZilla was being sued, but Legal Eagle, a lawyer on YouTube, has got more details on the lawsuit, which I found very interesting and wanted to cover today. So the first thing that comes up in this defamation suit Logan Paul's putting against CoffeeZilla is this tweet. Logan Paul really is a type of dude to thank you when exposing his scam, then blocks you when you remind him to pay up. If you don't remember, CoffeeZilla was following up on the payments because Logan promised he was going to repay or partially repay the victims. Never did, and CoffeeZilla followed up in which Logan Paul blocked him. So in the lawsuit, Logan claims this tweet is libel or defamation. But fast forward six months later when CoffeeZilla tweeted out, Logan Paul really is the type of dude to thank you when you expose a scam, then block you when you remind him to pay up. Now, Logan Paul alleges that CoffeeZilla's tweet is libel per se, but in general, to prove defamation, he has to show one, the publication of a false statement of fact, uh, two, that was defamatory concerning the plaintiff, and three, that the person made the statement with actual malice, and four, damages. And here, Logan Paul alleges that, quote, the accusation that Paul operated a financial scam is one that tends to harm his reputation so as to lower him in the estimation of the community or deter third persons from associating or dealing with him. The June 29th, 2023 X post is libelous per se, and that it tends to affect Paul in his profession or occupation and accuse Paul of engaging in illegal conduct. It's just a complete joke that he's bringing up this tweet as if any of us would look at that and think that's defamation. Logan, you thanked CoffeeZilla, promised repayment, and then you blocked him when he follows up. Are you surprised he was going to make a tweet like this? Maybe if you think, Logan, and you're not such a meathead, you would realize that blocking the guy leading the charge, exposing your crypto zoo scam, isn't a good idea. Thank you, bro. And now, years later, you're crying, oh, defamation libel, like, get the fuck out of here. Logan then makes more bogus claims against this tweet, saying that CoffeeZilla tweeted it, full well knowing that a CryptoZoo wasn't a scam. Logan Paul says by 2023, CoffeeZilla knew that CryptoZoo wasn't a scam. He says, quote, the post was a gross and intentional distortion of Paul's prior statements in which he referenced CoffeeZilla's research as a positive in the sense that it had helped expose the wrongdoing by Paul's former business partners, who had also hoodwinked and victimized Paul. Feindison knew this, but he intentionally conveyed to the public the false accusation that Paul was a participant in a scam and intentionally defrauded people to increase his own profile by continuing to attack a well-known celebrity. In what world isn't this a scam? I love that he uses these based mean tweets to prove damages in this lawsuit. Logan Paul cites the mean tweets as proof that his reputation was ruined by CoffeeZilla's scam comment. They are all fantastic. And it just makes me sick. Logan Paul acting like he's the victim here who got hoodwinked. And, oh, I didn't do anything wrong apart from promise your fans a crypto game in which they could make money. It's a really fun game that makes you money. Promote it willingly to millions and millions of people. I really, really do believe it is going to be the catalyst for a lot of young people getting into crypto. I think this will be their first fun NFT crypto experience. My game. And when it didn't go your way and it all went to shit, you went completely silent for over a year and only said anything and only claim to care about the victims or anyone who got affected after CoffeeZilla made a three-part series about it. Your project, it's your reputation, your employees, you hired. If it became the best crypto project in the world, who do you think gets all the credit? 
you. But now people have lost a load of money because of your incompetence, hiring absolute morons and promoting and not communicating with them. Don't be surprised when people call you the scammer. But no, guys, we're expected to believe that CoffeeZilla's the bad guy here and intentionally knew CryptoZoo wasn't a scam and pushed this false narrative all for profit. What a complete joke. Defamation lawsuits are used all the time to silence people, silence creators, especially when the person has way more financial means, like Logan Paul does against CoffeeZilla. Logan Paul's riches are like, you can't even imagine how much money Logan could chuck at this. Just to shut them up. I should know, I had the UK's biggest YouTuber's brother silence me with their money years ago. Full well knowing, financially, I couldn't compare. So this lawsuit from Logan to CoffeeZilla, yeah, it pisses me off a lot. Logan Paul then claims that CoffeeZilla's follow-up video, uh, Logan Paul's scam isn't over, is also defamation. This video is where CoffeeZilla just shows that Logan Paul hasn't refunded any of the victims. This was what was said in the lawsuit. Originally on June 30th, 2023, CoffeeZilla published a video entitled Logan Paul's scam isn't over. Logan Paul alleges that this video is defamation per se, again, objecting to the characterization of CryptoZoo as a scam. He says CoffeeZilla, quote, left no doubt that he was accusing Paul of intentionally defrauding individuals who bought egg NFTs or zoo tokens by referring to those people as his Logan Paul's victims declaring to his audience that Paul was guilty and his offer to reimburse buyers of egg NFTs was an admission of guilt and stating that Paul was just pretending he'd changed. In the video, CoffeeZilla shows emails he got when he reached out to Logan Paul to follow up on the refund that he promised. And instead of Logan or someone from his actual team responding to CoffeeZilla, he got some bullshit response from his lawyers saying they're still trying to figure out the best way to refund the victim. When six months earlier, Logan Paul set out a plan that he was going to do to refund. So it's clear it's still ongoing, like CoffeeZilla's saying, and the scam isn't over. There is no refund or even a plan after the plan was laid out six months earlier. But you know, the common theme here is, Logan, if you just did the right fucking thing, you know, if you just refunded the people... The normal people who got screwed over by the multi-millionaire, almost billionaire now, Logan Paul. None of this would happen. If you just even talked to CoffeeZilla normally, after he exposed everything, just communicated with him like a decent person. But no, Logan is not even capable of that. And Logan Paul in the lawsuit highlights another video from CoffeeZilla, the video titled Logan Paul's Refund, where CoffeeZilla goes in depth about Logan Paul, a year after he made this video promising a refund, a year later, he finally offers the refund that he said he was going to offer. However, everything wasn't as it seems as during this time and still ongoing, Logan Paul is being sued by a load of the crypto zoo victims in a class action lawsuit. So in this refund initiative, Logan Paul is trying to make out he's a great guy for offering and this and that. There's small print where if anyone accepts his refund or burns their eggs, etc., they are waiving their right to sue Logan Paul. And if they're currently suing Logan Paul, again, it waives their right to sue or join any class action lawsuits. Logan Paul is refunding people he scammed if they promise to stop suing him for the vastly larger amount he may owe them. These are the estimated damages in CryptoZoo. $18.5 million, which comes from a combination of ZooCoin and NFT sales. And then this much smaller percentage of that pie is what Logan is actually offering to refund. On the condition, though, that all of the people who spent the last year suing him or the larger damages, drop their case. So that's a refund of only 12% to drop 100% of the case that as far as I can tell, Logan may be losing. Put in that light then, this refund starts to look less like a good faith attempt to make things right and more like a cynical bargaining chip to avoid getting in even more trouble. Which is a complete scumbag move. You should be offering a refund because it's the right thing to do. Not to secretly try and reduce the amount of victims that can sue you with this bait. He full well knows. So apparently this video is defamation as well. Apparently CoffeeZilla's chatting shit here, which he most definitely isn't. It's also hilarious that Legal Eagle points this out. You know, Logan Paul is suing CoffeeZilla for apparently knowingly lying about Logan for monetary gain. All the while, when Logan Paul was suing his crypto zoo employees that were shady, he's using and citing CoffeeZilla's research without naming CoffeeZilla to prove that they were shady. 
And ironically, the lawsuit that Logan Paul filed against the developers made good use of CoffeeZilla's investigations and videos about Ibanez's background and Greenberg's secret sales of tokens. Turns out Eddie Ibanez's entire backstory was a fabrication, including the MIT NFL story. Can you believe it? It's like, yeah, we know. And then he goes, yeah, well, you won't believe what I discovered. Crypto King secretly sold tokens. Yeah, we know. Logan just shamelessly rips off my work claim for claim without citing me. I mean, he says things like Mr. Greenbaum would later admit that he made millions of dollars through his surreptitious sales of zoo tokens. But where did Logan find that admission? Was it perhaps when he investigated my video? Time and time again, this lawsuit copies my work, but is embarrassed to cite it. So they even have to say things like, based on public reports. What public report? Mr. Ibanez made approximately $1.7 million from selling zoo tokens. I could swear I've heard that before. And for my calculations, he made about $1.7 million. That is so fucking funny. The irony. Yeah, this guy, he's bad faith. He's defaming me. I hate this guy. Just let's sue him to oblivion. Actually, wait, can we use like his video and stuff and the facts he presented to help me sue these other people too? Like, just shut up, Logan. Like, you're fooling no one. At the end of the day, the internet and the general public know and saw what you did. People saw and made their own mind up. You suing CoffeeZilla, just trying to silence him, is only gonna make people hate you more. And it always amazes me that because CryptoZoo is the headline, people forget. They always forget. Logan Paul promoted multiple pump and dumps to his fan. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. We will never let him forget Dink doink, which he sang the theme song for, and multiple other ones that just completely rugged on his fans. And, I'm, and Logan Paul made money, which are complete scam. It's not just a one-off. Bottom line is that Logan Paul filed this lawsuit because he wants to silence his main critic. And that's the very definition of a slap suit. Yeah, I mean, it's clear as day. It's the most pussy shit ever. People with loads of money just want to silence anyone who has an opinion about them they don't like or has got a valid opinion but can't fight it, doesn't have the monetary means to actually fight a celebrity like Logan or like someone else. When I got quoted for my case that I, you know, didn't have the financial means to really back, I got quoted 250,000 pounds if it went to court. So I know how expensive this can really be. Legal Eagle said this. The next best thing would be to support CoffeeZilla on Patreon, which is where he gets most of his funding anyway. I'll put a link to CoffeeZilla's Patreon in the description of this video. I want to echo them sentiments. I'm going to leave CoffeeZilla's Patreon below. CoffeeZilla is a great guy. I spoke to him many times behind the scenes. You know, he does amazing work and to let like a scumbag like Logan Paul tread all over him financially just shouldn't sit right with anyone. So there's no better person to support on Patreon right now than CoffeeZilla. Especially the big middle finger to Logan Paul. Logan is scum. Like if you agree. Comment your opinion down below. And until next time, fuck off. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Want you to dink on my face. Take a doink on my chest. Yeah, yeah. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Why don't you come on over? Take pictures of my feet.